Hey, this is Ryan at Clovis Star. So I wanted to give a report on uh, something I saw regarding one of my websites by a YouTuber that had came and trolled me on my video and I blocked him. So he got a little upset and started telling people that my website was hacked or that it has malicious software on it. And I just re recently noticed this just in the last couple hours. So I went through and made sure that I could prove this. And I thought, gosh, what a good way to inform people of bad websites. You know, if you suspect a website might be nefarious, might might have problems and might be a risk, you'll want to check it first. So I, um, first of all, I do have firewalls. I do have a security certificate. I do have virus protection on all of my servers. And I've never had a virus. I've never had a problem. And my sites have never been blacklisted. So, and it's been around for years, you know, 10 years or so, at least uh, Clovis Star has, but I've had other sites that have been around since 2001, like slu2.com, and you can see the history of that. So let's just go to Virus Total, and then I'll take you to Securi, which is S-U-C-U-R-I.net, um, and you can also go to McAfee. McAfee's very uh, comprehensive, but it does take a while to go through all of their different scans, but they have historical scans, they have free, uh, frequent uh, updates, and you can check any of that. So just for the sake of illustrating this, so, I mean, this isn't even necessarily about my site. This is about any site you may go to. And... Surely it's possible to come along a site that looks legit, but is dangerous. So I just want to make sure that that is well known on how to figure that out yourself. So this is VirusTotal.com. This is one of the main websites you'll use. You know, if, if you're out there searching, you'll find this one. And it goes through and it analyzes. Like I said, McAfee and Security or others, but um, you can also see if a website's been blacklisted for that reason, you know, for any reason. So let's see, no engines detected this URL as having virus. So these, all of these different websites will check and make sure that your site is legit. And I have a Komodo security certificate which, you know, verifies my site and checks it for viruses and things like that. And so you can check on my security certificate that I've had for years. Um, and that is also listed here. So Admin US Labs, Aegis Lab, WebGuard, Alien Vault, uh, Ant Antley, AVL, Evira, Beidou International, Bitdefender, Blue LV, Certly, CleanMX, Komodo Site Inspector, Cybercrime, SciRadar, De, uh, Desenmascara.me, DNSB, Dr. Web, Emisoft, ESET, uh, Emisoft, sorry, ESET, Facepoint Threat Seeker, Fortinet, Fraud Score, Fraud Sense, GData, Google Safe Browsing, uh, you know what, I, I ought to do that one too, because Google's pretty well known. We can check on that. Anyway, you go down the list, there's 67 different sites that will check and see if your website's clean, and they do this on a regular basis. So my site's been around for 10 years, and my site gets frequently scanned. So let's just go to Securi. Okay, sitecheck.securi.net. Securi is spelled S-U-C-U-R-I.net. This is one of the big ones. I mean, these guys scan millions and millions of websites. They're pretty comprehensive. Now, this is good. If you have any concern about a website having problems, then you should always go to a site like this and check it. So opinions.clovisstar. Dot com. And so you don't have to rely on my, my scan here. I mean, you can always scan my site yourself by going to these sites, which is why I'm showing you exactly how to do this. So we'll scan website, and it will come back with a report. Status, no malware detected by external scan, not currently blacklisted, 10 blacklist check. 
scan, malware not detected, website blacklisting not detected, injected spam not detected, defacements not detected. Uh, let's see, website details. Checked all of these links. List of scripts tells you all the scripts that are in there. Of course it has scripts, every website does, but this one tells you every script that it has. Scan another site. So you can always go here and see exactly what you're getting. Blacklist added. Domain clean by Google Safe Browsing. Domain clean by Norton Safe Browsing. Domain clean by Fish Tank. Domain clean by Oprah Browsing. Domain clean by Site Ad Advisor. Domain clean by Security Malware Labs. Domain clean on Spam, uh, Spam Hoss. Domain clean on Yandex. Domain clean by ESET. <laughs> So all of these have scanned it, and for years they've scanned it. And if it was ever blacklisted, or if there's ever been a problem, you could find that history. Um, what is it? Google Safe Browsing. I don't use this one very often, but since Google's a well-known name, let's just check. Google Safe Browsing. Hmm. <laughs> oh, these people. But no, it's good. I, I love when topics like this come up because this is important. You know, viruses are real. Uh, you know, fake sites and problems like that are real. So, you know, the way to check is just to be, you know, vigilant. And if you suspect a problem with the site or if you want to make sure of a new site that you've never been to before, then you'll want to go and use tools like this to figure it out. Make sure here I'm getting it the right way. Safe browsing status. Okay, so here you go. You can check this site at transparent, oh, cr yeah, transparencyreport.google.com. That's where you. That's the website you would use. So this is Google. Let's make sure Google gives us a good report. And if it doesn't, then you'll want to avoid these sites. Opinions.clovisstar.com. No unsafe content found. Um.